Hi, I am Dr. Ravichan Siddhachari. I am considered surgical gastroenterologist and chief liver transplant surgeon, Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. Uh, as you all know, 19th of April is considered as the liver day. On this day, I mean, I would like to talk about liver as I am performing a liver surgery here for a cancer. Um, I would like to tell you more about the liver. So, liver is one of the most important organs in the body. It is um, located in the right upper quadrant in the abdomen. It weighs about 1 to 1.5 kilograms and it for performs numerous functions. And it is therefore called as the factory of the body. It uh, produces uh, proteins, it produces clotting factor and it produces bile. It also performs most importantly the detoxification of uh, food and the drug which you take. Whatever you eat, it has to go through the liver. It also has other functions like the storage, which is very important. You, you, the energy is stored in the liver, the iron, the uh, minerals, vitamins, they are all stored in the liver. So the functions of liver are numerous and it performs at least about 500 functions in the body and therefore it is uh, very important. And liver diseases are increasing and as you see uh, uh, worldwide, uh, uh, it, it's going to be one of the most common diseases by 2030 uh, every one in five persons uh, will be suffering from liver diseases so what are these liver diseases what we talk about how do we maintain the liver that's all I want to tell you about today so maintaining liver is very important you have to have a healthy lifestyle you have to have a good hygienic diet natural diet don't go for processed food and uh, artificial food Avoid drinking alcohol and uh, exercise is very important. So whatever the calorie you are taking, you have to burn it out, you have to balance it out. The ca extra calorie is stored in the liver. That is why the incidence of fatty liver is increasing. The extra calorie you take, it's not burned, it's stored in the liver, it's called fatty liver disease. And this fatty liver disease can in fact lead to liver cirrhosis and now it is one of the most common problems in India, not only in India, everywhere. So other diseases like we have viral hepatitis, uh, viral hepatitis are there are uh, four or five viruses causing hepatitis which can lead to cirrhosis and alcohol, very common problem, it's a big problem uh, and in India it's uh, growing because India is becoming more, you know, uh, more of a civilization and the modernization leading to uh, lifestyle disorders and the diseases of liver is growing. So these all liver diseases they lead to ultimately liver failure and liver failure eventually you know uh, in, uh, you, 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 one person will not feel good, he will feel very unhealthy, he will start accumulating fluid in the body, he gets jaundice, he starts bleeding everywhere and ultimately is going to uh, you know die one day in, uh, if you, he doesn't get a treatment properly. So what is the treatment for liver failure? It is transplantation. Liver transplantation is the treatment for the liver failure. Medicines can only prolong, uh, you, can, you can buy the time for some time, but ultimately the treatment is liver transplantation. And uh, what are these liver transplantation? There are types of liver transplantation. We do cadaveric and living donor liver transplantation. Cadaveric means uh, somebody who is dead, uh, somebody who had a trauma to the, or had a head injury, and his brain is not functioning, uh, his liver can be taken and many other organs can be taken uh, along with the liver such as kidney, heart and lung. And what is living related? Living related is person's own relative is donating half of his liver or maybe uh, 30 to 40 percent in kids, half of uh, liver in adults. So that liver we take and put it into the uh, 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 new I mean, patient. This is so the whole diseased liver is taken out and a new liver is implanted and that liver has to function and then the per person will have a new life otherwise the life expectancy without transplantation is usually about six to nine months with transplantation you can prolong it by I mean almost a normal lifetime and other diseases I, I would like to tell you is the liver cancer liver cancer is one of the most common cancers and it is the fifth leading cause of death worldwide and it is the second uh, most common uh, disease in, uh, in the digestive system uh, uh, throughout the world. So 
liver cancers can be of two types one is the primary cancer which arises within the liver cells and another is the cancer which is coming from other organs in the body through the blood so those cancers are called metastatic or secondaries in the liver which come from colon rectum most commonly and also can come from stomach lungs breast and other organs too and pancreas as well so uh, the treatment of liver cancer is revolutionized we have a, a, a top i mean uh, the surgery for liver diseases are uh, uh, can be taken care of this uh, liver diseases and we have all the modern equipments and the medicines uh, or uh, they have revolutioned the treatment of the liver disease ultimately what i would like to tell you is avoid the liver diseases by staying healthy lifestyle is very important and uh, leading a good healthy life is very important so my words to you on this liver day is to stay healthy eat hygienic natural good food exercise daily and avoid alcohol and junk foods this is my word for you on this liver day thank you